Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up your workstation for Joomla 2.5 extension development using NetBeans 7.1 and GitHub. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit start up NetBeans. We've already installed uh, the Git plugin uh, in the plugin area. And then we're going to say team git clone. And we're going to tell it what we want to get. In this case, I want to get the PDF, which is my project. I'm going to tell it I want it to live in the little folder where I keep all my projects, which is Joomla My Projects. And I'm going to leave this just like that. Now you'll see over here, it created the folder. It's the same name as the clone. All right. And it's getting it. And here it says it's finished. All right. Now I'm going to create a, now I'm going to do the same thing for the Joomla CMS. And again, I want the master. This time, I want to put it in Apache. So I'm going to go to my WAMP install. If you don't know how to do that, there's another video on how to do that. And this is where I want it. But I also want it in... No, 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 no. That's right. That's right. Okay, and then I'm going to tell it done. Now we're going to go over here. You'll see it's doing it, All right? It's cloning, so it's not done yet. This is the command. If you were to do it from the command line, these are the commands you would use. You would use this one first, and then you would use this nice long strings. And a lot of the folks are using the command line, but I think this is a lot easier. Okay, so now that we have the Git repositories done, as you can see here. It's all here. Documents. Joomla. My projects. This is there. Now we need to make the actual NetBeam projects. There may be a better way to do this, um, but this is the way that works for me. Okay. So, first we want to do Joomla. So, let's go to WAMP and let's pick the Joomla CMS. And we're going to put NetBeans and its own repository. And we want to use HP 5.3. And we're done with that. Okay, it's all here. It's all good. I've already done some work, so let's clean it up. Let's revert modifications. Okay. It's going to be just fine. We'll do a new poll. Where's your one? Right there. Always want to pull from a master. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to create another new project. And this time we're going to choose our project. Okay, we want that to be like that. No, that back. Ah, that back. Okay. Still want 5.3. Still want that means in a separate area. And then we need to go, this time we need to go next. Now, here's the trick. Copy files from source. And now we need to go back to WAMP again. And this time, we need to put them where they belong. Now, because I'm doing a plugin, it's a content plugin, I need to put it here. Okay? And notice it adds the name of the project. All right, that's it. Now, 
that's all done. Let's stop that. Okay. So let's take a look. We see it here. We see the build. Let's do like we did before. Since I was let's see what earlier. Let's go ahead and revert. Okay, it's all gone. No problem. We do a fresh pull. Remote. Pull. Good. Master. Finish. And it's all done. Alright, now let's go and you'll see that the extension is here. Okay. Now if I want to make a change, change the readme. Uh content. Okay. We'll just say video demo. We're gonna save it. You see it changed it up there for us automatically. Changed it here. It tells us it changed. Let's do our commit. Okay, it's now it's committed, but it's not up on the repository yet. We have to push it. We want to push it into the master. We talk to finish. And here it's all done. It's done. You see, it's no longer changed. Okay. Now don't worry about this. I'll leave it there. And just do a Convert modifications. Go. Okay, Joomla is all cleaned up. It's ready for us to work. We can do our CMS work. We can do another extension. We can do whatever we want. Now, let's say, oops, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to commit that. That's wrong. No problem. Revert to commit. It's done. It's reverted. You'll see it's already changed. And now, because we pushed it, we need to push it again. If we hadn't pushed it, then we wouldn't need to do that. Select the branch. Done. Done. That's all you need to do. Now, if you want to apply a patch, you go Tools, Apply Diff Patch, select the patch. I don't know how to do it remotely yet. But that's all there is to it, folks. Have a good day.